Bangkok experienced heavy pollution. In all your years doing business in this country, have you ever seen the air quality in this city look so bad? Actually never. And I think it's quite interesting. So probably it kept on developing like this and we were not aware. I think for circular economy, for environment, we get so much buy-in from everybody. Mm. That's why now everybody, I think, is willing to do something, make an extra effort of making the air better. Mm. It's such an irony because you as a power producer spend so much money in renewable energy just to help Thailand cut down its carbon emissions. Do you feel that the recent pollution took away all the hard work you put in? Actually, we all contributed and still contribute. Yeah, everybody drives a car and we have air conditioning at home and so on. So we have to find a way how can we be both in the modern world and have a civilized society and at the same time reduce the pollution to such an extent that it's all green, that it's all possible. Now, that will take time, but we all have to put the effort in. So renewable energy is just one, one part. Another part is which we've been spending the last two years in the Energy Committee of the Thai Chamber of Commerce mm. to get the government to make it easy for private sector to plant trees and make it a business. Mm. Because they always talk about conservation and not about making it a business. So you don't get people to plant trees, so they all plant some other plants. Sure. And some of them, they, they increase methane in the air. Mm. So now we're just about to get there. You actually issued a green bond last year, 5 billion baht, earmarked for your solar plants in operation and under development here in Thailand. It was subscribed by the Asian Development Bank. How does it feel to get the financial support and the recognition from the ADB? Actually, very happy thought. So we met them first in, in the Philippines when we were doing solar inquiries there and then when they heard learned that we we're going to stock market they wanted to be part of it so they became one of our first investors with 60 million dollars which became worth much more fortunately <laughs> so it's always good and then they gave us a, a frame loan which they said is the, is the biggest or one of the biggest they, they have given to private sector and that is supposed to go to a renewable energy and what I really have to commend our people again is that they managed to become the first non-financial institution in Thailand to get a green bond. There you can see you can have the cake and eat it. You are environmentally friendly oriented and you get lower interest. Yeah, so it was also financially good to have a green bond. Hi, I'm Christine Tan and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.